Okay, day two, March 2nd, uh, intermediate three uh, from eight to 9 p.m. Today we're gonna be looking at and practicing the passive voice. Just waiting a few moments for students to arrive. Uh, they should be popping in in just a few seconds. It's eight o'clock already. Hey, good evening, Emma. How are you? Can you hear me, Emma? Good night. Ah, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. How was your day? Um, it was busy. Busy. No bus? Yes, busy. Yeah, busy. There you go. Why? What happened today? I have a lot of work. Where do you work, Emma? Um, I work at Export Salva. Okay. This is the one going to, uh, what is it, to Sonsonate, right? Or Santa Ana? Uh, it's in the street, Santa, that you, Santa Ana, right? Is, yes. Okay. okay. What do you do, Emma? Um, I am an assistant. Um, like a receptionist, like a secretary or for the manager? Like a secretary. Okay. Good. Do you like your job? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Today, no. Today, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, I see we have a couple other people. We have Miriam, Selvin, and Jose Perez. Uh, how are you guys? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. All right. Ayer no me puedo conectar a la clase porque me confundí de horario, yo pensé que era de 9 a 10 <risa> hasta después me di cuenta que era de 8 a 9 ah. así que pero pero lo vi en en línea, así oh. que ya, ya más o menos sé de qué de qué estuvo hablando ayer thank you You're welcome. ok, good nice to meet you nice to meet you too, Miriam ok, Miriam y es la primera vez Que, que se conecta o se cambió de horario no teacher creo que me cambiaron de horario pero no este desde que inició el desde el básico hasta ahora estoy en, en inglés corporativo okay. ok el básico será presencial ya este ya es ajá ok and thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. We have uh, Marcela, Selvin, 
Jose, how are you? Hi, mister. How are you? I'm good. And you? My name is Selvin Martinez. Selvin Martinez? Yes. Okay. Good, good. Nice to meet you, Selvin. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. I start to... Let me see, let me see. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay, good. Hi, everybody. Don't hear me. They're quiet. I see everybody's quiet. <laughs> it's okay. Mister, what's your name, mister? Media Mass, what, what is your name? Mister, yes, what's your name? My ah, my name? My name is Edwin. Yes. Edwin, Edwin Cubillas. Edwin Cubillas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So before we begin, I see we have a few people. Uh, are you guys in the WhatsApp group? Did you go to the WhatsApp group or no? No. I... Okay. Yes, yes, I I, 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 I have the WhatsApp, but yesterday you sent, you sent the message mm -hmm. no just, just uh, no just just in this today to make sure that everybody is is connected in the whatsapp group mm -hmm. okay 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 well today we're going to begin uh by reviewing uh yesterday we saw the passive voice does anybody remember what is the passive voice or how to use it Us. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I can't. Uh, stay in the class. Mm -hmm. But now I review the in the link mm -hmm. the passive passive with bytes correct that's the idea we use by to indicate the person okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make little groups and we are going to answer the three questions that are in the chat in the chat we can see three activities okay and i'm going to take a picture in case you are what in is the what is the seat? Mm -hmm. How do you use? Okay. Interesting. So if you are on the phone, it's in the WhatsApp group. If you are on the computer, it's here in the chat. And with our partners, we're going to discuss the passive voice. What is it? How do you use it? And we're going to give three examples of the active and three examples of the passive voice to make sure it's clear the difference. So before we begin, any questions? Yes. Will you say what is it, please? What is it? The passive voice, yes. That's what you are going to discuss in your group. In the group, you are going to discuss what is it. This is from if did you watch the videos in the platform? Mm -hmm. No, 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 I, I, I can't. Ah, okay, okay. So in the no. group, may, the partners are going to tell you what is the passive voice and try to help you to make sure that you understand. And then we're going to discuss Please. to see, okay? Please. Okay. All right, let's begin. So remember, we're going to answer those three questions and discuss the passive voice with our partners.
Jose, can you enter in the group? There, okay. Hello, good evening. Come in. I could um say yesterday because Hi teacher. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Spanish speaker. Yeah. <laughs> eh, no, eh, I Trataremos de hablar eh, son English. <laughs> no problem, no problem. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Qué está haciendo el entendí? <laughs> Lo que pasa es que como ayer no subimos, pero entendí que nos iba a poner en grupo para que habláramos un poco, un poco sobre el, pues, el passive voice, ¿verdad? Correct. Correct. You are going to answer the three questions. What is the passive voice? How do you use the passive voice? And what are three examples of the passive voice? Um, the passive voice, uh, I use by. The word by. Maybe you in the partner. Tenemos que usar la palabra by, ¿verdad? Uh, no. But you can use by, but it's no obligation. Okay. okay. So in the chat, you see the three questions. In the chat, you can see the three questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you answer the questions, and then we um, check in the group. So this for you. It's designed by an American. Uh, Tanya, Selvin. Yes. I Hi. I think the two of the two of you didn't come to class yesterday. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let me help you then. So that you can understand the class from yesterday. Perfect. Yesterday, the activity we saw. The grammar was the passive voice. The passive voice has the objective of changing the focus. So the focus normally is the person. As an example, Tanya eh, cooks dinner. This is the normal sentence. Selvin cleans the house. This is the sentence. But the passive voice changed the sentence not to focus in the person, but focus in the object. The dinner is cooked by Tanya. The house is cleaned by Selvin. This is the passive voice. So the passive voice changed the position from the person and changed the, the position of the object. And then they go one in one place and the other in the other. Okay. So as an okay. example, in the hotel, when you go to a hotel or when you go to the office, it's not important who cleans the hotel. Only the important is, ah, my room is cleaned. This is the passive. Because for you, it's not important who. It's only important the activity and the object. When you go to a restaurant, it's not important the chef. It's important the food is delicious. This is the passive okay. voice. This is the passive. Uh, the passive voice is the, the food was prepared <gasps> incredibly by a chef. I don't know because it's not important. It's only important the object. That is the idea of the passive voice. Okay. okay. With uh, yes. Tanya and Selvin, the two can practice the exercises in 1.2 in the platform. In 1.2, you can 1. practice. 2. Yes, and that way you can see if you understand, okay? Okay. Okay. 1.2, okay. 
Marcel, uh, Jose, any questions? Uh, yes, teacher, I just want to remember passing boy is the ball was kicked by Pablito. Repeat, Jose. The ball was kicked, was kicked by Pablito. Correct. That is the passive voice. Okay. Mm -hmm. The object. In the active, active voice is, is that, uh, I don't know what it is. Almito kicked the ball. This is the active voice. This is the active voice. So the active voice is when the person does the action. The person begins the sentence. In the passive voice, the person ends the sentence. The difference is the focus. As an example, when you go to a hotel, the, the room is cleaned. It's not important the person. That's it. That is the passive voice. The room is cleaned by a by a worker the room is clean by a, a person this is not important it's only important the room is clean that is the passive but if you focus in the person then you say ah jose cleaned the room this is active because focus in you okay Okay. But in the passive voice, we we should use the verb be in past, right? To, today we are using the verb be in past because the sentence is in past, but no is obligation to use in past. The verb be is the the verb indicate the time, present, past, or future. In the sentences today, we are using in past for the actions in the past. So with Jose, Marcela, with okay, Jose. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. With Jose, practice the exercises in 1.2 in the platform to make sure you understand the passive voice. 1.2. Okay. It's subject that the cast resides the action. Emma, the Miriam, head. any questions? Um, yes, teacher. Um, I have a question. Okay. Um, the passive boy is um, when she change uh, tense, present, um, past. Uh, uh, repeat medium, the, in some words, disappeared. Okay. A uh, passive boy mm -hmm. is when um, the tense, uh, okay. or la oración. No, 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 go ahead. Uh, in English. Uh -huh. The... <laughs> The present, um, la pasamos a, a future, a, a past. No, no, no. Uh, the passive voice is when you yeah. change the focus. Change the focus uh, of the, the yeah. difference. If you look at the sentence, the active, I make the cake. I but, make a cake. Correct. The focus is me, me. But in the passive is only a cake is made, no person. The person is not important. The important is the active, sorry, the important is the object and the action. So in the passive voice, always the verb is in past participle, but you use the verb to be. The verb to be is in present, as you see, a cake is made, or in past, a cake was made, or in the future, a cake will be. So always, always is going to be the verb to be, but the verb is in past participle. This is the passive voice. Not focus in the person, but focus in the object and focus on the action. 
<laughs> so when I go to a hotel, for me, it's not important who. It's important the action. My room or the hotel was cleaned or the hotel is clean. This is the important focus, the object, and then focus the action. But for me, it's not important who, maybe Emma, maybe, maybe you, maybe me, but the important is the room is clean. It's okay, Miriam, Emma? Okay. O sea, cambia el sustantivo. No, no, no. It's the same subject. I know, I don't understand. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, so, when you use the passive voice, mm -hmm. you have to put the verb in past. In right? past participle, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can I can say um um the the email is send. Okay. Can I say that? Correct. That is the passive voice. Ah, creo que ya voy entendiendo. The active voice, medium sent the email because focus in medium that she did this act of, she did this action okay but when we have the passive voice the focus is not the person the focus is the email okay the email was sent if you want then you can add the person, but the person is not obligation. For example, the email was sent by medium. Um, okay. Uh, en pocas palabras, se enfoca más en el predicado que en el sustantivo. Correct. That is correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cambia la oración, pero no cambia el sujeto, teacher. Correct. Correct. Okay. So if you look at the sentence in the example, in the in the screen, you see the example. I make yeah. the cake. The same. The cake is the cake. Make is make. The only the difference is the person is not necessary. Okay. okay. Try, yes, yes. try 1.2 in the platform to practice, 1.2. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important mm -hmm. than the word. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive and simple past this is what we'll use. Was work plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepares the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. okay. Anya, Selvin, okay. any questions? Hi. Not too sure. No, it's okay. The section no, is finished. Okay. The, the practice 1.2. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. No confusion. Yes, yes. We, yes. We have. Thank. <laughs> excellent, yes. excellent. Okay, okay, perfect. Then let's go back and let's check with the class. Okay. Hey, we have a new student, Floor. Okay. 
Ah, uh, no. I thought it floored, but I see. Perfect. All right. So, is does everybody understand the passive, the difference between the passive and the active? More or less. More or less. <laughs> okay. Yes. The, the, the difference, the main idea is that in the active sentences, focus or begin the sentence with the person. Begin the sentence with he, she, they, I, Tanya, Marcela, Jose, El Selvin, my mother, my father. Begin the sentence with the person. This is the active sentence. In the passive sentence, begin the sentence with the object. My house, the TV, the bedroom, the car, eh, the food, the restaurant. This is the difference. And why? Because it's not important who did the action in the passive sentence. In the active sentence, it's important who did the action. In the passive, no. Only is important the object and the action it received. The food. What happened with the food? The food was cooked. Ah, this is the important. Who? I don't care. The pizza. What happened with the pizza? The pizza was delivered. This is the important. The pizza delivered by Pepe, by Francisco, by Andrea is not important. The important is the pizza. That is the difference between active and passive. Because in active, I say, hey, Andrea delivered the pizza. Is important Andrea because Andrea is a friend. Or Andrea, someone we know. Ah, then it's important. Active. In passive, no. In passive, hey, the pizza is here. No, no, who? I don't, the people in the party don't care who delivered the pizza. Only that, the object, the food, the sushi, the hamburger, the Burger King, the pollo campero. Ah, this is the important. This food is here, is delivered. So, so? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, Marcelo. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, you said that the verb be the terminate the 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 tense. What is Correct. my tense? Correct. But but the principal there is the other, right? So this there always will be in. Possible. Yes, very good, Marcela. That's that is the clue, because the main verb always always is in past participle. The verb to be changed. The verb to be in present. The food is delivered in the past. The food was delivered in the past perfect. The food had been delivered in the future. The food is going to be delivered but always always the verb in past participle delivered that is correct marcella the verb to be changed but not the main verb the main verb always always past participle excellent marce okay ronald any questions that's okay teacher uh -huh, Celine. And, and for Ronald, Ronald Quesada, any questions? He's very quiet, Ronald. Okay, maybe Ronald has technical problems <laughs> because it's like zoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we are going to watch a little more information for passive voice and see more of how to get information, okay? So, uh, the second part yesterday, we practiced the pronunciation. Now we're going to continue about asking for and giving uh, information with the passive, okay? Watch the video, and then I explain if you have questions after the video. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. 
try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Teacher, your microphone. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, so I said that if you look in the sentence, we have a lot of sentences that are underlined, okay? They are underlined because these are examples of passive sentences is if you see all of the sentences have the same information the verb to be and the main verb in past participle okay so for example uh english or we have is and spoken is and used are and accepted okay because we focus on the object, not on the person. These are the difference. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Okay. That part is not the important part. The important part is we understand how to use the passive voice. We use the passive voice when we talk about the things. Okay. And what happens, for example, in El Salvador? In El Salvador, ah, the colon is used. No focus on the person. You, Dollar. <laughs> we focus on the object. The object is the colon or the dollar is used, right? Because in is, is normal. Everyone or all of the Salvadorians use the colon, use the dollar. Now, no colon, really. Now, only dollar. Eh, colon doesn't exist. This is only poof, in the past. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only in the mind. <laughs> only in the mind. Only in the mind. Uh -huh. This is the idea for the past. Okay, because the passive focus object or thing and then focus the action, not with the person. In La Libertad, in El Puerto, eh, eh, the uh, fish is sold, right? Seafood is prepared, okay? Ah, but who? <laughs> It's not important who important you go to El Puerto and fish is food. Seafood, uh, you can buy ceviche it is in El Puerto. Who prepares is not important. Is, is this okay? Is this a better idea? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to see how they use the same the same subject the subject is the passive but when is not necessary so it's clear we're going to watch a video when is not necessary by okay when we don't use by in the sentences with passive uh, before we watch the video 
Any questions? Anybody have uh, any questions or comments that is not clear? Okay, let's watch the video. Hi, we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without by. Simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple pass, passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying, they use a euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important, so the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure, and because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is R present of B plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher. Okay, for this, the important is the most important is that we are clear for the passive, which is here. Okay. Here, we can see the difference. It's easier to understand how is an active or a passive sentence. In the active, we see begin the sentence with a person. For example, they, people, uh, whatever you want, begin. In the passive, we begin with the object of the sentence. Ah, the euro, the language, the cars, the food, the, the different things begin with the object and always the verb to be. Remember the verb to be, maybe is present, maybe is past, maybe is future. The important in the verb to be is indicate the time, but always, always the main verb is in past participle used, spoken, manufactured, uh, cooked, prepared, delivered. The verb to be indicate the time. The time present is, the time past was, the time future is going to. Okay, in this moment, any questions? No. No. No? Okay, okay, let's see. So here we can see, okay? So we change the focus from they, they right? To the euro, which is what we're interested in. And we change the focus to the euro, to the object. You can see in the example, not begin with the person, begin with the object. This is the main function and purpose of the passive to change the focus. It's okay? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So is is only for is really for how you speak. Okay? And the words that you use. Okay? 
So as an example, maybe in your job, maybe in your profession, there is a problem. Okay. Uh, and you begin, Ronald made a mistake. Mm. This is bad, bad for the manager because begin the focus in the person. But the reality is not important to the person. The important is a problem is made. We need to fix it. Who made the problem is later, but the moment is to fix the problem. That is the idea. So, so. You ready to practice? Yes. 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 Okay. Tanya, any questions? No, teacher. No. Emma, any questions? No, teacher. No. Is Medium, any clear? questions? Clear? Good. No, teacher. No. Uh, I get it. Okay, good. Marcela, any questions? No. No? Okay. Jose, any questions? No, no. No? Okay, perfect. And Ronald, any questions? No questions. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to go with our partners. We are going to work here in the platform 1.9 and 1.10, okay? 1.9 is a knowledge check. This is using the passive voice. You use the verb to be, but the verb to be you have to understand is that here we have the simple present. Remember the verb to be in the simple present and then the verb in past participle. So with your partners, you are going to do 1.9 and then we are going to do 1.10, which is a reading comprehension. You read and answer the questions with your partners. So two exercises. Okay, one more time. I so that is clear. We have 1.9 using the passive and 1.10 reading. The idea is to speak, to interact, to read out loud. Okay, so the the idea is not ah uh, la uno. La dos. A, B. No, the idea is give your opinion, give the example, speak, practice the pronunciation. Okay? okay. Can you share the presentation for take a screenshot, please? Or in the which which one, Marcel? The 1.9 or 1.10? 1.9. Okay, one moment. I share the screen one more time. This? This one, Marza? Marza, is this the one? Yes. Yes. Okay, and here? I got it. Sure. Do you want 1.10 also, Marisa? Please. Okay. Maybe for this one, I shared this because uh, I think you need to be able to read. And to read, you need to have a little bit bigger. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. And Marcia, here are the questions if you want. Marcia, are you working on the computer or on your cell phone? In my cell phone. Yeah, you, but you can continue working and be part of the Zoom class in your cell phone. You, it's not necessary to take a screenshot. You have it, you only enter into the platform and you can do it in the platform. Okay, 
Ah, pero no te vas a salir de la clase. Oh, no, no, o sea, como error de ah, quizás de la... Ok, ok, ya, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Ok, cuando, como, cuando minimizas la, la pantalla para ir a la otra. Yes. Ok, ok, Marcia, no problem, I understand. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Eh, para saber, ¿todos saben cómo compartir con la pantalla con sus compañeros de trabajo? Ya que Marcia menciona eso. Yes, I think so. Selvin, yes. yes. Can you? Yes. yes, I try. Yes. Okay, that way you can share the screens and work together to make sure. Okay. Okay. All right, let's make our groups and let's see if we can try to do 1.9 and 1.10. 1 1.9. 1 1.9 and 1.10. Okay. I'm going to share the Ah, okay. bueno. Entonces, como según la información que acá tenemos que hacer la estructura del subí más el pasado participio. Entonces comencemos con el, el uno. Quiero ver. Mini. Eh, Taiwan. Taiwan. What do you mean crop? Crop, crop. Do you know Physical. what do you mean crop? No. Okay, so we share. doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> crop. Okay. Crops. Crop. Ah, crops son cultivos. Okay. Crops. Crop. Many crops is grow. 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 The pass is grow. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Or not? Yes. Yes. Mm. In Taiwan. Teacher. Yes. Are you see? Yes, I see. Uh, it's not correct, but I see. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 In Taiwan. I, I, no, no, no. I'm going. I'm going to help you. Okay. Okay. So, the first is. Only is necessary to put the passive, okay? So the passive is, in the instructions you see, only use the structure, the verb to be, and the past participle. Now, this is one. 
And two is crops are plural. Crops, you see oh, with okay. S, crops are they. they. No, 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 they, no, they. Only the verb to be, only the verb to be. What do you use with plural? How is the verb to be? Am, is, or are? Are. Exactly. Are. are. And the verb grow in past participle? Grow. That is the past. That is the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not correct because you use the past participle, past. not the past. Okay. Uh, what is the past of verb grow? Tanya, do you know? No. Is grown. Grow. Grow. Uh, mm -hmm. G R O W N. Correct. Do. No. G R O O. G R O R O W, w. N. N. Good. Yes. Now, yes. Now, Selvin, no capital. No. The A is no capital no capital A, because it's in the sentence, it's not begin the sentence. The A, the letter A for R, not capital, only R, normal. A R? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Okay, that's it. And um, then <laughs> you can you can check your answer if Bro. you want. No, no, no. Only the only verb, that only that because it's only the verb only to that. be and the verb. That's it. Yes, you can check your answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the bottom, you can see is the part all at the in the end. You see it says check answers. In this, uh, some crosses are on okay, teacher. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Next, other crooks. Jose, any questions? Medium, any questions? Eh, chat, pero uh -huh. de que acá, como es la oración, ya está en passive voice. Tenemos uh -huh. que agregar el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Only the verb only you put the verb to be and the past participle not write the sentence only the verb to be in the past participle okay okay yes teacher okay me cuesta un poco pero lo estoy entendiendo okay okay jose any questions por quien está compartiendo pantalla ninguno no, ninguno puede ni Mm -hmm. Es que no puedo, bueno, yo soy desde el celular y no puedo hacer, okay. no puedo compartirla, no sé. Pero sí lo estoy viendo desde otro teléfono, no sé si José también lo está viendo. Okay. No, yo estoy desde la PC, desde la PC estoy yo. Uh -huh. José, si quiere puede compartir pantalla. Hola. Sí, José sí está viendo de la compu del PC, entonces José puede compartir pantalla si quiere, si no, cada quien lo puede ir haciendo bueno, ahí está, ya está compartiendo la pantalla ok, okay.
Okay. Let's see. The uh, 1.9, Jose. 1.9. Ah, eso quería saber, bueno, no sabía qué ejercicio estábamos haciendo. Es el que van a hacer, el 1.9 y el 1.10. Es lo que dice Miriam, ahí no van a escribir la oración, solo van a poner el verbo to be y el verbo en pasado participio. Es todo. ¿Ok? No. No, hagamos la 1 entonces, o sea. Porque yo no entiendo eso de, de, de participio, o sea, no sé de qué me están hablando. Estamos hablando de los verbos. Cuando estamos hablando de los verbos, la diferencia entre el presente, por ejemplo, como el pasado, comí, y, eh, y el participio, que estamos hablando eh, comiendo, o diferente. Entonces, es igual en inglés. Qué raro. Yo creo que me confunde perfect, perfect, fast, progressive, me hablar de todo eso. Perfecto. Entonces va a ser necesario eh, que cuando hagas los ejercicios tengas o empezás a buscar los verbos en pasado, pasado participios o, el, o, o vayas practicando poco a poco cada día memorizándote un poco de los verbos, que la diferencia entre presente, pasado y pasado participio para que no te vaya costando. Porque cada verbo que, que se conjuga tiene una función específica, así como en español. Eh, no puedo decir yo comiendo o cuando yo quería decir yo comí. Entonces, esa es la función de los verbos, de indicarte el tiempo en que estás hablando. Ok. ¿Y cuáles son los verbos to be? José. Los de was, el were, el be, el being. Perfecto. Todo eso, exacto. Pero aquí solo vamos a usar el verbo to be en presente. ¿Cuál sería las que podemos usar en presente? ING. No. ING, no. Perdón, José. Eso es lo que le estoy explicando. No sé. Ok. El verbo to be en presente es el verbo de ser o estar. Eso significa cuando estás hablando de yo estoy contento. Yo soy José. Eso en inglés es el, el verbo básico que tenés que manejar porque si no, no vas a poder avanzar. Necesitas usar ese porque en conjunto con esos es que combinas los otros. En presente tenemos normalmente que son tres verbos, que son el verbo am, el verbo is y el verbo are. Y cada uno va con diferentes personas, como lo mismo que en español. Entonces, eh, yo estoy, él está, nosotros estamos. En inglés es lo mismo, el am se usa para el yo, ¿ok? El is se usa para él, ella y eso singular y el are se usa para clases plurales yeah but how can I mix all that stuff that is my question perdón José no se te escucha ¿Cómo, bien cómo lo puedo fusionar cómo lo puedo fusionar cómo lo ocupo ajá entonces de yo qué? sé eso ahí está allá ajá un poco, es esos, esos tres no te los puedes, ¿verdad? No, eso sí me los puedo. Ok. Pero los, los ocupo, los hablo, ni sé si los estoy ocupando y se lo hablo. Ok. Bueno, ya vamos a ver eh, cómo hacemos. Puedes intentar hacer esos, que es usando el verbo to be, uno de esos tres, más el verbo en pasado participio. 
como no sabes el pasado participio, tenés que ir buscando cada verbo en su pasado participio, no el pasado. Hoy se nos acabó el tiempo, pero mañana vamos a poder continuar y ver cómo hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Well, I'm sorry, but the time is finished. Is we are going to stop, and tomorrow we continue again, and we practice tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. Have a good night, and I see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See Bye. You. See you.